at the end of the day, uh, the commission under the, the bylaw has the authority to approve the final um, project submission and, and award the project to the, uh, the successful firm. So uh, following on Director Wergland's question, if, and it's quite possible when a final design comes, that the Township of Squamish may say, no, we don't think that adequately fits the design guidelines, uh, then uh, presumably either there is a redesign or uh, then what happens? Do we go to court? We wind up in court because, uh, you know, we're saying that the, you know, the township um, approved or failed to approve this when they should have, or, or what's, the, what's the alternative there? Yeah, uh, Mr. So I think uh, the, the whole terms of reference to the commission, the, uh, the bylaws set out an expectation that there'll be active uh, engagement between the commission, this committee, the board, and the municipality to try to resolve any of those uh, concerns and interests. Uh, it's not a precise legalistic issue unless uh, we want to elevate it to that. Um, so as, as with many development permits, it's a negotiation back and forth between the municipality and the proponent to reach a uh, consensus on that. Um, and if, if, if you're not successful with the first development permit, then there's a resubmission and it goes back. But at the end of the day, um, you know, the, the, the municipality under the act can't withhold that development permit approval. Uh, well, whether, well, whether it becomes a legalistic issue will yeah. depend on yeah. how all the parties. They, they can if they determine it doesn't fit in their view the design guidelines. 